Well, Hero Academia fans, after three years of global success, it appears that Shonen Jump will be terminating their contract with author Kohi Hiroko Shoei, thus ending the publication and serialization of Boku no Hero Academia. In this Reddit post by X Asumuo X, he explains that Shonen Jump likes to cancel their series. The chapter list I found on the Boku no Hero Wikipedia ends at chapter 145, Red Riot 2. Apparently, controversies surrounding this Red Riot character and many Native Americans living within Japan led to Jump swiftly pulling the plug on the series before facing legal ramifications from those red-skinned crybabies. Even worse, viewership for the new season continues to decline. At the start of April, the show was barely reaching 0.05 million viewers despite its advantageous time slot. Currently, it doesn't even qualify for rankings due to insufficient data. Half the time, the network can't find enough sponsors to fill the commercial time slots. Warning signs were everywhere. Despite hype from the new season of the anime, the My Hero Academia tag in Sankaku has seen a notable decrease of submissions over the past six months. People who draw and look at doujin are the ones who are most likely to purchase merchandise. And if they are losing interest, sales figures will reflect poorly. Now, there's been some rumblings on the legality of stroking your willy to Hero Academia porn, because the primary cast consists mostly of high schoolers. But I would like to point out that if I were to consult this chart, I fall into one of the blue states, so I am completely fine. If you would like a more detailed breakdown concerning the laws and regulations concerning lolicon pornography, my good friend Chase Face Show gives a concise, well-rounded explanation in his Sonic What Happened Part 1 video. If Shonen Jump had any foresight, the downfall of Hero Academia could have been predicted as early as Chapter 1. The superhero subgenre has seen huge growth over the past decade, to the point where summer blockbusters have fallen to the cinematic universe model of filmmaking. But Disney and Marvel's oversaturation of the genre has evoked a global burnout for the structure of storytelling. Releasing a superhero-themed shounen battle series in this geopolitical climate deprived the brand from sticking out. It's sad to see such a beloved series come to a tragic end, but if you subscribe to me and like this video, I'm sure it'll dull the pain. Probably all the way. Anyways, if you would like more anime videos, don't let me do them, because they're all bad. Anime videos fucking suck!